is Palace Athene. And the bottles of Argos is just a work of art. I love these bottles so, so much. You can tell they really just take their time. The tops have that little crystal in them and oh my gosh I just love these bottles. This is a rose centric fragrance but it is just a very modern rose in my opinion. This is for people who like the berry and rose combination. So in the opening you have red berries, bergamot, you have pink pepper and grapefruit. So it's fruity in the opening and I definitely pick up those red berries for sure. The rose is definitely the star of the show but it's a modern rose. It's a very, I wouldn't say jammy rose but kind of of a cross between a realistic rose and a jammy rose, if that makes sense. It's just so, so good. There's a lot of amber in here as well, so it's very warm. There's some iris, there's some patchouli in here, there's some sandalwood, and definitely vanilla in the base as well. So just such a well-blended, gorgeous fragrance. The performance is amazing. It's actually almost beast mode. I sprayed too many sprays of this one day and I was like, whoa, I mean, it was definitely projecting. It's definitely not lacking in the performance arena whatsoever. And this is beautiful. It's very elegant, very sophisticated, very classy smelling. And if you are a rose lover, you absolutely need to get your nose on this. So that is by the House of Argos, Palace Athene.